Hey, the Mad Hermit here, and in this video, we are about to embark on the Grand Tour. If you're just joining us, the Grand Tour is a quest where it's your job to seek out and speak to tour guides hidden throughout New Britannia. If you successfully complete the quest, you are rewarded with the rare Fez Hat, which can only be obtained in pre-alpha release 17. This item will be permanently linked to your account and available to you when the game releases. Each of the last seven releases has included a hat or a mask reward for those that completed the Grand Tour. If you didn't, those items will only be available to you if you purchase them from other players. The R17 Grand Tour will take us through five different locations. They include the Soul Town Sewers, Solania Catacombs, Arteris Sewers, Savanach Stronghold, and the Owl's Head Sewers. To assist me on today's journey, I have my two lab rats, I mean, faithful companions, Trad and Shallon Stormblessed of the Phoenix Republic. Once you complete the Solace Bridge tutorial, you'll find yourself in Soul Town. Make sure you find the tour guide, double click on him, and receive your instructions to begin the Grand Tour quest. From here, we're going to head south out of town, actually southwest, toward the cemetery. Once at the cemetery, we are going to make our way to the mausoleum and double click on the door to get to the sewers. Once underground, we're going to need a game plan, so head to the madhermitgaming.com and click on Shroud of the Avatar, Maps, Shroud of the Avatar Underworld, Soul Town Sewers. Here you can get a nice overview of the Soul Town Sewers, and as you see, we're going to start off at this particular entrance and work our way through these winding tunnels, through these three large rooms into this larger room where the tour guide will be standing right there. Now I've sent Trad and Shallon ahead to do some scouting, and while we walk through this particular sewer, it's worth noting that all the towns, cities, villages, and uh, major points of interest are interconnected through tunnels and dungeons and caves and such. And my goal as part of this tour is to show you how they are connected, and how you can get from one to another through hidden doors and secret passageways. Okay, we are leaving the second of the three large rooms I mentioned previously. We're going to exit this third room now, and right around the corner to the right is our tour guide. You're going to want to make sure you double click on him to start the conversation dialogue and receive credit for this leg of the tour. Alright, consulting our map one more time, we're going to leave this large room through its southern exit and head west, where we'll find the entrance to the Selenia Catacombs. So as you can see, we started in Soul Town, entered the Soul Town sewers, and now we are going to travel to the Selenia Catacombs without ever having to surface. While we wait for our scene to load, let's fire up the Solania Catacombs map and make a plan of attack. Okay, so this is the Solania Catacombs as best as I've been able to map it out, and we are going to start from the Soul Town Sewers entrance and make our way to the Elf Camp. Our tour guide will be waiting in this room in the top corner. Once again, Trad and Shallon are lead blocking for me on this play, making sure that my path to that elf camp is as uneventful as possible. Which brings me to a point I should make, and that is you can probably complete the quest at 5th level as long as you don't stop and outrun everything. Once again, make sure you talk to the tour guide before journeying onward. From here, we're going to exit the opposite end of the room, break through a hidden wall, make our way through a skeletal chamber, and then on the left side, we'll see another wall that we can break to make our way to the Arteris sewers. All right, let's see what this looks like. So here's that corridor that we're gonna go down, and we are going to approach this wall. Now, this wall has already been broken. If it's closed, you're gonna double click it to uh, break it. And I'll show you what that looks like up ahead. We're going to make our way through the skeletal burial chamber. I guess it's a burial chamber with skeletons, the remains of the dead. 
And on this wall on the left, you'll see what we're looking for. Uh, my mouse is going to turn green right about here, and that's where I'm going to double click and uh, break the wall. I have to do that three times, and you will Dark Star salute your way in. Actually, it's just a bad animation right now. Make your way through that wall, down the hallway there, and follow the light. And then you'll approach the gate that will lead us to the Arteris sewers. While that scene is loading, we can prepare our next map. Head over to Shroud the Avatar, Maps, Underworld, Arteris Sewers. Click the image to expand it. And let's see what we're going to do. We're going to come in through the entrance of the Selenia Catacombs, and we're going to head to the right. And we're going to go through something called an illusory door, which is a concealed door that I have uh, yet to discover. This is the first time, and we'll take a closer look at that because it's pretty cool. And we're going to make our way to this large room, and the tour guide will be standing in this corner. So right now we are running down that long uh, tunnel on our way to that illusory door. And uh, it's the first time I've encountered the illusory door. I kind of knew of its existence, but they are so hard to find, and you'll understand why. And uh, if you take a look at it close up, I mean, you can see it. There's clearly a doorway of some sort here, but when you walk through it and look back, it disappears. So on this side, you couldn't tell that there was a door there. You'd have to know it was there. Uh, clicking it probably wouldn't indicate anything. Hovering your cursor wouldn't. You just have to kind of rub up against it like a cat. Incidentally, if you haven't discovered any secret doors in Shroud the Avatar and don't even know what to be looking for, head over to the MadHermitGaming.com website, hit the Shroud the Avatar tab, and then the Secrets sub-tab, and you will see a video that shows you what you should be looking for. Make sure you double-click the tour guide to engage the conversation window and get credit for this leg of the tour. From here, we're going to return to the surface, and to do that, we are going to leave this big room to the opposite door, enter another big room, and leave through the Arteris sewer exit. So let's do that. Let's take a look at our fearless companions, Shallon and Trad. Thanks again for uh, helping me out so much with this quest and uh, making it a uh, much more bearable uh, journey. We have seen some horrible things, uh, met creatures most foul, and now we are swimming through this brown sewer sludge. God only knows what it is. But Trad and Shallon did it without complaint, with a smile on their face and a song on their lips the whole time, so I appreciate that. All right. Once surface side, let's get our bearings. We are looking at the Palace of the Winds there off in the distance, which is on the east side of Arteris. And we are going to head north out of town. We want to get ourselves to the overworld. And a really quick way to do that from here, actually, is to run over to this little skiff and double click it to uh, traverse the water pretty quick. The bridge leads out of town, so we're going to head that way. And once we get to this bridge, we're going to hang a right to continue our journey north and out of Arteris. We have two more stops to go to complete the Grand Tour. And we're going to head east out of Arteris to uh, Savanuk Stronghold, which is actually uh, northeast. But we're going to head directly east and take the road east out of town and admire how beautiful the overworld is these days. As you can see, there are other players um, on the overworld right now making their way from town to town. We just passed Soul Town. Soul Town was the first place where we started the Grand Tour. And we are on our way to Solace Bridge. We're going to cross Solace Bridge and continue on our journey to our next destination and uh, you'll notice that uh, movement speed has been uh, greatly enhanced uh, i think uh, one of the first times a few releases back when they uh, allowed us to access the overworld for the first time uh, it was like you were running with a piano in your pocket and so that's been adjusted uh, movement is at a good clip now from here you can see Grunvold Shardfall off to the right of the screen. 
and we are going to head for that rock formation between the Southern Grunvold Barrens and Grunvold Shardfall. So we are just going to dip behind this big rock, make our way across the bridge, and turn south on this road and you can see the deep Savernock Timberland and if you walk into this forest a bit you'll see Savernock Stronghold. The tour guide in this area is not too far from the entrance. You're going to want to make a left just before the Oracle Head and you're going to head south on this road through those ruins that you see ahead. And right around the corner, you'll find your tour guide surrounded by corpses. So make sure you talk to him, complete the quest, and get out of Dodge. Our final stop is in Owl's Head, so we're going to have to make our way back to the Hidden Vale. And the quickest way to do that would be to find this boat next to Arteris, double click it, and you can instant travel to the Hidden Vale. Upon arrival, you'll be at Kingsport, where you're going to want to take the road west. At the King's Road intersection, you're going to turn north and keep going north until you can't go any further. When you reach that point, you'll be at Owl's Head. Once in Owl's Head, head north into the city. Once you get to the bridge, you're going to want to hop off the wall on the right end. Double click the ladder to go down to the entrance of the Owl's Head sewers. Once inside, you're going to make a left, jump off to the right, and continue right to the Owl's Head Sewer Tour Guide. Be careful because there's a ghost down here and they are very difficult. If you have followed the tour in the order I have shown you, you should have obtained your Fez Hat. Again, this item will be linked to your account and available to you upon release. Anyway, this completes the R17 Grand Tour. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have questions or comments, leave them below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe link. And finally, I'm live streaming Shroud of the Avatar now on Twitch. So if you want to receive email notifications as to when I'm online and join me in game for some fun, make sure you subscribe to me on Twitch as well. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.